hello and welcome once more to my channel today i want us to look at a canonical diagram and uh, as you can see i have my diagram here this canonical diagram is the simplest form of a closed loop system and as you, as you know that a closed loop system has an input and in this case our input is r we have the summing point we have the error, we have the block here, that is the block we have in the forward path. Then at this point, I have the output C, I have the feedback element, that is A, then I have B, like that. So let us now define these terms that we, ha that we are having in our canonical diagram. So I have G, which is the forward element transfer function. So this G is always the forward element transfer function that will always be in the forward path. Then we have H, which is now the feedback. It's now the feedback element transfer function that we will always find in the feedback path. Then we have, when we take the forward element times the feedback element, we have GH. And the two of the, the product of the two of them is the open loop transfer function so if you are trying to calculate the open loop transfer function you will take the forward element that is g times the feedback element which is h then you will have your open loop system then we have uh, the control ratio that is c over r if i take my output c i convert to the input r i'll have c over r which is now the control ratio. And this control ratio is also known as the closed loop transfer function. So sometimes you'll be taught to, to you will be taught to calculate the control ratio. So you have to know that this control ratio is also known as the closed loop transfer function. That's what we have. Then if I take this uh, this term B here. I compare it to the, the input R. I will have B over R. And this B over R is the primary feedback ratio. B over R is the primary feedback ratio. Then I have my error here, E. If I take this E, I compare it with R. I'll have E over R. So this E over R is the error ratio. So... After knowing all these parameters in our canonical diagram, we can always say uh, calculate the control ratio. You can calculate the primary feedback ratio, the error ratio, the open loop transfer function, the feedback uh, element, the forward element like that. So from the diagram now, you still find that if, um, if I want to get this E, if I want to get this E, remember this E, is coming from this summing point and in this summing point i have r coming towards this point and i have b coming towards this point so that that uh, our e will be equals to r plus or minus this b i'm having plus or minus because r is positive then this b was was minus so i just put plus or minus that is our E. Then from there, uh, this C output C, this output C is coming from, remember after reaching this junction here is when I'm having the output C. So this C is equals to this block G times the error E. So the same as E times G. Then from there, we have the the primary feedback we have the primary feedback b so this one uh, is coming all the way from this this uh, element here then this one here so that uh, when i come from this c i just come like this after reaching this uh, this uh, peak of point i'll have my element h so that this b will be equals to the product of h and c because h and c are in series i just multiply them so b is equals to h times
times c that's what we have so from there we can uh, substitute in this uh, formula c over r b over r and e over r then from there we can obtain the control ratio error ratio the primary feedback ratio let us look at how we substitute them so i was given uh, i was given c over r i want to get the value of c over r from this diagram here i'll start by having uh, by having my c because this c from what i have here c is equals to e times g that's what we have then from there i can just replace this e because e is equals to r plus or minus b so i just come to this equation c is equals to e where i have e i replace with r plus or minus b then remember it was e times g so i'll have times times my g there then from there i can open the bracket i will open the bracket so that uh, c is equals to g times r is g r plus or minus g b like that and then from there we can now uh, we can see look at the term that you can replace here so you can see i can replace this b because b is hc so i'll come to this equation where i have b i will replace with h times c so my c is equals to gr plus or minus g h c that's what we have then from there remember we want to get c over r and we've started all the way from c we will replace like this so when you reach this point you find that on this side i have c and on the other side i have a parameter that has c so i can actually check this term to the other side so that i'll have c i'll have plus or minus ghc is equals to g r like that so that uh, you find that uh, for the two terms c is common so i'll just factor out c so i'll have c in bracket here remain with one plus or minus this is g h is equals to g r then from there remember the whole thing we want to make c over r the subject of the formula so i'll just ensure that i remain with c on this side so i can divide all through by one plus or minus g h over one plus or minus g h so that the whole of this one will cancel out then i remain with i remain with c is equals to g r over one plus or minus g h that's what we have now for me to get c over r i need to take this r from this side and take it to the other side so i can multiply both sides by the reciprocal times the reciprocal both sides so that this r and this r will cancel out then i remain with one of r times c is c over r so c over r becomes g over one plus or minus g h that's what we have a uh, that's how we find the control ratio of a block diagram just get g which is the element in the forward path over one plus or minus g times h which is the element in the feedback path that is now the control ratio or the closed loop transfer function this is what you should now master let us look at how you find the primary feedback ratio b over r so the b over r we want to get now the primary feedback ratio b over r so that in case where you are trying to find b over r you can know how to get it 
So you can always start by having uh, the term B because B was equals to HC. Just replace like that. But we can still uh, replace C because uh, C was HE. So we have B is equals to H G E. We replace C like that. Then from there, we know that this E was equals to plus or minus, sorry, what was equals to R plus or minus B. So just replace it. So B is equals to H G in bracket R plus or minus B like that. Then from there, we can open the bracket. So if I open the bracket, I'll have H G R plus or minus H G B like that. So you find that uh, on this side, I have term B. And on the other side, I have this parameter that has the same term. So I can actually take this term HGB to the other side so that now B will be common for the two terms. So I will have B plus or minus HGB is equals to HGR. So you find that this term and this term are common. So you factor them out. I'll have B in bracket, I remain with 1 plus or minus, this is GH, is equals to GHR. That's what we have. So we want to make B over R the subject of the formula. So for me to remain with B on this side, I divide all through by 1 plus GH over 1 plus or minus gh this is plus or minus so that the whole of this term will cancel out and then on this side i remain with b is equals to g h r over one plus or minus g h then from there I, I want to take this r to the other side so that i have b over r on this side so I'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal that is times 1 over r times 1 over r. This r and this r will cancel out and then I'll have b over r is equals to gh over 1 plus or minus gh. That's what we have and that's how we get the primary feedback ratio. You simply get the forward element times the feedback element divided by 1 plus or minus uh, the uh, forward element times the feedback element. So you have to note this. This is very important. Then from there, after knowing the primary feedback ratio, I want us to calculate the error ratio. The error ratio, I can just calculate it on this side. I want to calculate the error ratio. So this error ratio E over R, we can uh, start by having by having uh, the term E because we know that uh, E is equals to we know that E is equals to R plus or minus plus or minus B like that then from there we can replace b because we seen that b was, was equals to hc so that this e is equals to r plus or minus hc like that so we can still replace c and this c was equals to uh, c was equals to eg so e is equals to r plus or minus h g e we have that. So you can see that uh, this term has E and this one has E. I can take this one to the other side so that uh, for the two terms, the term E will be common. So I will have uh, E plus or minus GHE is equals to R. 
E is common for this for these two terms. So I'll factor out E. I remain with one plus or minus G H is equals to R. I want to remain with E on this side. So I divide both sides by one plus or minus G H over one plus or minus G H so that the whole of this will cancel out. So E is equals to R over one plus or minus G H. Then I want to take this R to the other side so that I have E over R as my error ratio times one over R times one over R both sides. This R and this R will cancel out. Then I remain with the error ratio E over R is equals to one over one plus or minus G H. That's how we get the error ratio. We simply get one over one plus or minus G H. That's how, what we have. So thank you for so much for watching. Bye.